Putin army accused of murdering their own comrades. Butcha Ukraine, I Yushchenko, 61, a former commissioned military officer within the Ukrainian military who once served as the deputy chief of staff of armed service in the Donbas in eastern Ukraine, watched in horror as a war crime occurred right outside his window in broad daylight. According to Yushchenko, a column of Russian troops advancing through the city stopped and opened fire on his street in central Butcha on February 27, killing two pedestrians. This column had included Chechen fighters called Katarovsi, members of various military groupings who are loyal to Chechnya's native strongman, Ramzan Katarov, called Putin's soldier. Yushchenko said he was able to establish them by their black garb, their use of Muslim slogans, associate degreed Katarov's name on their body armor. Regarding an hour later, their column was decimated by the Ukrainian army in a very completely different part of town, but the Katarovsi returned. Many Chechen troopers penetrated this street to kill Ukrainian civilian people, Yushchenko told the Daily Beast. He delineated however Chechen fighters, additionally wearing black, shot up automotive that had been driving down the road with a minimum of 30 bullets, per Yushchenko, killing its occupants and inflicting it to come to a stop on the facet of the road next to the residence he was staying in. The Katarovsi then allegedly dragged the two dead individuals whom they had shot out of the car, left them by the side of the road, and drove off in the car themselves. Yushchenko's mother, Zina Yaharovna, his friend Pavel Kondratyev, and his neighbor Bogdan every confirmed these events to the Daily Beast. Per Bogdan, however, the Chechens then hit a civilian who had been making an attempt to escape the scene with the car, exploit him hanging off the hood of the car, before he softened off onto the street. It's merely a law breaking what they need done here, Yushchenko said, standing next to the bench that the car had crashed into once the Katarovsi allegedly attacked it. This isn't war. Artem Huron, a member of the town council of the neighboring town of Irpin, who additionally is a deputy commander in Ukraine's territorial defense forces, was one among the primary folks to go to Butcha after the Russians retreated. There, he detected various accounts from residents regarding life in areas like Yablonska Street, wherever a group of Katarovsi who were purported to advance onto Kiv were stationed. Per Huron, Ukrainian civilians weren't the sole folks the Katarovsi allegedly brutalized within the town. Huron said that residents he spoke to in Borodyanka, that lies northwest of Butcha, recounted what the Katarovsi did with lack Russian troopers they brought there from Butcha. They would bring heavily wounded Russian soldiers to an enormous hospital they'd there, and people who were terribly heavily wounded, they'd simply shoot them, he told the Daily Beast. And nobody nonetheless the Katarovsi did this. Eyewitnesses have alleged the Katarovsi had dead folks as early as March 5, and Butcha civil authority and Natalie Federick stated Chechen units had tied white bands around prisoners' arms that were the same as those found on the bodies of executed civilians. Huron same he saw proof of executions and torture on bodies he found within the street and spoke to a lady who endured four days of torture at the hands of one Katarovsi fighter and one Belarusian soldier before they shot her husband in the head. They didn't enable them to try to do anything. There they solely killed people through binoculars for example, Huron same, describing what happened to those that tried to depart their homes to induce food and water. They simply shot them. He additionally confirmed previous reports a couple of native base at a glass mill on Yublonska Street that Ukraine's investigator for human rights, Lyudmila Denisova, said served as a room operated by Russians and Chechens. Per the Kiv Oblast police, the bodies of around 1,150 civilians are found throughout the Kiv region since Russian forces people in late March and early April. In Butch alone, over 400 folks have been found dead so far, most of whom were killed by the city's Russian occupiers over the course of many weeks in March before their withdrawal from the town on April. So guys, we have come to an end of this news session. Thanks for watching and please do well to like and subscribe for more updates. Until next time, goodbye for now.